Hello guys, Ace Beam D46. Yes, D46, not D46VN because I am selling this light as a factory light. I don't have any plans to put any other LEDs in it. If anything, I will consider uh, a, uh, a XHP 70.2 6500 Kelvin shaped dome so you get a warmer tint and a little bit more throw. But that's something that you have to request over email. For the, I think it's really nice as it is with the cool white light. I'm not a diver, so I don't know if the warmer tint is any better underwater, but it might be because uh, I heard that warmer tint penetrates fog and water a little bit better. I don't know. So if you're a diver and you feel like that, a little bit of extra throw, uh, at the cost of reduced output, but warmer tint is worth it to you. Let me know and I'll put in that LED. All right. Uh, 5200 lumen factory claim, right? Um, fact, the uh, Ace Beam has pre pretty good with their lumens claim. So I'm pretty sure it's quite close to the 5200 lumen. I have not measured it. Look at that, that's a nice wrist holster. Okay. Warranty card, so keep your warranty card. This is a factory light, um, factory light, so factory warranty. Okay, user interface. There's a ball here, a diving ball that you attach this to here with a screw, um, a rubberized lanyard. Okay, O-rings, Allen wrench, big screw, all of that. All right, so the main purpose of this video is to show you guys the user interface because it has a unique one. Um, actually, before we talk about the user interface, let me uh, give a little impression of what I think about the build quality. It is extremely hefty and just extremely well built. Ace beam is really on a roll with their build quality okay really really nice 200 meter diving light printed here just really really nice let me show you guys the inside i'm gonna set this here so you guys can see the head All right right now i have four testing vtc 5a in it um you can run other cells i would recommend higher drain cells you know I'm not an expert. This is just going to be a little uh, subjective advice, okay? For a diving light, in my personal opinion, I would stick to unprotected cells, okay? Why did I say that? It likely will run protected cells fine. I'm sure it'll run the higher drain protected cells fine, like VTC6 protected. But in a diving light, what if one of those circuit protection fails? What if? You don't know. It's electronics. Anything can fail. So if you run unprotected cells, at least you know that it's one less part to fail. Because if you have one dead battery, circuit protection, the light is dead and you're underwater. Why would you want that risk? So just run unprotected cells. So what if you accidentally run it down and you and you kill your batteries? The chance of that is extremely low. And even if it did happen, it's just four cells that you have to throw away, right? But the extra benefit and safety and peace of mind that you have cells that does not have a circuit protection that can potentially fail is a huge plus when you're underwater, in my personal opinion. All right? And that's that. Um, has a very cool spring, uh, very strong spring design here, down here. I don't know if you can see it. There's a spring at the bottom there. And very nice, okay? That's the head. It's nice, strong, sturdy um, springs. I do not plan to power boost this light. This is a diving light. Power 5,000 lumen. It's good enough. I don't plan to do any crazy mods or anything to this light. LED swap, that's all I do, okay? I don't want to compromise runtime, reliability, or anything on this light. It's a diving light, so. Uh, very nice built light. OP reflector. So, again, I'm not really a diver, but I would think um, a smooth reflector would be better here. You get more throw. It, it, it throws all right, you know, but it's an OP reflector, big-ass LED. How good is it going to throw? 
I didn't measure it. Um, what did the factory claim here in terms of Lux? The factory claims 40,000, about 40,000 KCD. Actually, that's pretty impressive, 40,000 KCD. But still, you know, if you put a smooth reflector in here, you probably get 60, 65, and you get a little bit more output. I'm not sure why they didn't do that. Because underwater, you really going to care about beam quality underwater? I don't know. Okay, not a diver, just an opinion here. Okay, user interface. Oh, by the way, I don't know what the heck the point of this orange O-ring is. I think it's just for a tiny bit extra grip, but you're going to be wearing gloves anyway. So not sure. I don't know. Maybe it's just for looks or design. But it's there. It's kind of cool. A little grippy. Um, user interface. You swap the click, uh, the toggle switch here over to the left. The light will just ramp through different levels. Okay, it'll go from one, two, three, four, and then an SOS, and then it'll ramp through the different levels again. So wherever you feel like you want to stay, right? Say you want this constant brightness level, you swap it over to toggle it to the right. It'll stay on that level. And then if you toggle it back to the left, it will turn the light off. So it will memorize that level. Look at this. Back to that level. Off. Okay. Swap it over to the left to change your different levels. Let's say I want it to be in the lowest level. There you go. Now I lock it. Move it to the right. Toggle it over to the right. Now it's always in this lower level. So... I find it to be a relatively simple user interface, although um, I, I, I'm not a diver. So I think it's, it's, I think it would work quite well because you don't have to f you know, fumble around with buttons. And since this is likely a magnetic switch, it's uh, water, very highly waterproof. So I think it's a, it's a very cool switch for a diving light. You know, I haven't seen this made on any other lights. Um, but I haven't really handled that many diving lights either, so it's kind of a cool design. You know, kind of a cool, simple design, underwater, easy to activate. I love toggle switches, so this is cool. And then just swap it over to the left and then wait for the level. It's a little slow, it's definitely not a tactical light, all right? But it's not, it's a diving light. So pick the level you want and then swap it over to the right. And then you have it memorized. Kind of cool, okay? Pretty neat, pretty neat, really. Um, if you're not a diver, would you buy this light? Uh, I don't know, $225. $225 is a really, is, I think it's a good price for a very nice built light. And I imagine this light is quite bulletproof uh, by design, okay? I ran it through a, a one battery cycle and it runs fine, it gets hot, yes, but underwater it'll heat sink a lot better. Um, and I dunk it in water also, not that long, maybe like 10 minutes and it was fine. So it's a good diving light. You know, I don't try to sell anything that I don't test out myself, uh, to some extent. So it's a good light. And I think even if you're not a diver and you just want a bulletproof light, and if you're interested in this user interface, I think it's kind of cool. So yeah, that's that. Thank you. Ace Beam D46. Diving light off factory, $225 with factory warranty. That's that. Thank you, guys.